Fallout 3 was the first game to really take over my life. It was released in the happier time of 2008, before Modern Warfare 2 taught me every slur in the English language, and before Dark Souls taught me how to struggle. I had multiple characters with over 100 hours each, and spent many sleepless summer nights losing myself in that game. So you can imagine the absolute dopamine rush I got when Fallout New Vegas came out. Released two years after 3 and made by Obsidian, Fallout New Vegas is widely considered the best Fallout. And man, when I played it, I was so... disappointed. I am well aware that this is a controversial opinion to have, but I wanted to give a little more context, so I recreated my first playthrough to the best of my ability, and I wanted to walk through it a bit. First things first, I had to change the ugly ass HUD color back to the beautiful green. Whoever's fucking idea it was, duh, it's set in the desert, so let's make the HUD the color of sand, fuck you. Clean out your desk. I hope you go home early and find your wife sleeping with another man. <laughs> okay, that was a bit harsh. Uh, I, I just don't like the HUD color, so I had to change it back to even play through this game again. Next, we need to create the absolutely beautiful specimen that will be terrorizing New Vegas. Then, it was time to assign my special points in the most unhinged way possible. So my thought process here was, well, I don't need luck if I'm good at the game, and I don't really use vats anyway. Strength gives me more carry weight so I can pick up more shit to sell, even though I'm never going to use a melee weapon this entire playthrough. And finally, charisma, because I love talking my way out of things. I sit down to do Doc's little test, which I think isn't as good as Fallout 3's purely for the fact that it is more abstract. Like this one, you know what I see? Two bears high-fiving around an F-16, but how does that translate to my build? Eventually he says, fuck it, you do it, and surprisingly wasn't far off having two of the three things I wanted. I admire my work as he drones on, and then I finally get to pick my traits. I choose Trigger Discipline for the accuracy and Wild Wasteland because the description was so vague and I didn't know what it did. <laughs> As thanks for saving my life, I loot all the medical supplies he owns. He throws in a pit boy and some of his wife's old clothes, and I was off to get bombarded by DLC text boxes. I start the tutorial and somehow miss a ton of shots even aiming down sights. I fully finish the tutorial, finding Indiana Jones in between, though at the time, I didn't understand what it was. Next, I admire my new hat and help Ringo with his powder problem. I don't remember getting this at the start, but I do have a potato launcher. After playing a bit of hot potato, I loot them for all they're worth, and now it's on to the game proper. My first thought outside of Good Springs was, well, the game is called New Vegas, let's go to New Vegas. I wanted to see the town that is the centerpiece of the game. So I make a beeline through the desert only for the game devs to say, Me and my friends used to feed LSD to this little retarded girl in our neighborhood. Yeah. And we'd lock arms around her and go, Nightmare, 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 nightmare. You can't do that. It actually cured her retardation. Oh. So I give up and go the way I'm supposed to. Prim was my first stop and the NCR tells me not to go in, which only makes me want to go in more. And go in, I do. I talk to the locals to get the quest, free the deputy, try to appoint the robot, but I'm too stupid, so now I have to find a new sheriff. The NCR has the closest marker, so I decide to help them. I talk to the lieutenant, and he says he won't do it unless the top brass sins dudes, and now the joke's on me because the marker is even further than the other one. But it is south, which is where I was headed anyway, so I'm not complaining. I can just use it as a fast travel point. I get to the statue, which I always thought was weirdly funny. Like, who is this for? Is this just a big flex? I have a word with the receptionist, and after an easy barter check, we're good to go. Head back to Prim to give him the good news, and we're done with this town. Fast traveling back to the funny statue, I make my way east. I shrug off an attempt to intimidate me by the Legion, and make it all the way to Novak. I climb up the cool dino and talk to Boone, our first companion of the run. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot how to do this quest. 
I talked to a couple of people around town, but then I just so happened to stumble upon the floor safe behind Jeannie. I pickpocketed the key from her and found the evidence I needed. I take her on a midnight stroll and put on another snazzy hat. Huh. It's funny because something similar happened to me on my first date, but it's not important to the video. We talked to Boond again, and now he will follow us to the ends of the earth. It was at this point that I said, fuck it. I want to see New Vegas. It's just north of here, so it shouldn't be too hard to get to. The route there was relatively unmemorable, but I do love seeing the lights just pop on. I remember getting lost and not being able to find the entrance, but I'm an adult now. Surely that won't happen again. <laughs> Finally found the entrance to Freeside feeling extra dumb, stopped by Mick and Rouse to look at the big dick energy menu. Then I get absolutely jump scared by these guys looking to kill me. Very scary. After that I head further in and speak with the king. Do his quest line real quick and bam. Second companion unlocked. The goodest boy. Dog beep. Now comes the part which I would count as the most unhinged part of the playthrough. Silver Rush. This is the only real part that I was dreading to redo, but I did it as a kid, so I have to do it here. I took every single item into the restroom so I could steal it. I have no idea how I had the patience as a kid to do this, but I barely finished it with my sanity intact. I will say though, looking at the pile really gives me a sense of pride. <laughs> Then to pour salt on their wounds, I sell back what she can afford, and I sell the rest to any other merchant I can find. As I'm selling off my contraband, I stumble upon a dialogue from Ralph saying that he sells forged papers to get into the strip. I pick one up for 500 caps, and it's time to finally enter the strip. I talk to the Securitron and easily gain access, meeting Victor inside. Time to explore. The first casino I went to was the Gamora, but YouTube would probably get mad at me, so we're gonna skip it for now. Second place I visit is the Tops. I check in my weapons again, and oh, hi, Benny. Benny, the guy I've been looking for this entire time just casually descending the stats. I don't have any good weapons on me, but I decide to confront him anyway. And because I have the Black Widow perk, I get a special dialogue option that to this day still makes me uncomfortable but it was so wild, I needed to see where it goes. I meet him in his room and press the have sex button. If only it weren't that easy. <laughs> After giving him his last meal, I introduce him to the forever sleep. I mess up a bit here because I was supposed to talk to Yes Man because that's who we're siding with here, but I forgot and I just went to go see Mr. House. We talk and he shows me a demonstration of the new toys that will soon be mine. After another conversation, I finally remember about Yes Man and go back to Benny's bedroom. Have a nice little chat about world domination and find out Mr. House can be killed. So off I go to do just that. Go back to Lucky 38 and search for a way to kill him. I happen upon this terminal that opens up the entire wall leading to a door. I save because all the robots turn hostile, but I was a save scummer when I was a kid for sure. When I did this as a kid, I just wanted to see what they were hiding. Little did I know this was exactly what I needed. <laughs> I meet the real Hugh Laurie and shoot him in the face. That de the robots and puts Yes Man in control. Now comes the part where I decide who's naughty or nice. First stop is the Gamora and surprise surprise the Omertas are not good people. I talk to a few people and give them a new boss, but he dies in the process, so I guess I'm the boss now? Next up is the creepy white glove fuckers. I knew as soon as I saw them that they were cannibals. <laughs> talk to Heck about missing his son, and I agree to help find him. I talk to Mortimer about how much I just love, love, love eating human flesh. He tells me where they're hiding the boy, and I go and get him. Reunited with his father, and I stop him from killing everyone since it's just a few cannibals. 
Now it's time to cheese some Brotherhood of Steel. I get captured anyway, pass an easy speech check, and bam, they're done. Then I'm off to do the annual tradition of visiting the boomers. Alexa, call Grandma Mobile. <laughs> I hope I got someone with that. <laughs> call your grandparents. On my way there, I run into George, who warns me that the boomers are kind of bigots, which, I mean, come on, no surprise there, right? We make a bet that I win, but completely forget about and never follow up on. Despite eating some very hot potatoes, I get to say hi to Grandma. She tells me I'm a special little boy and gives me a pinch on the cheek. She sends me out to help her people, but I remember not doing that. <laughs> The only thing I did was listen to their story. As a kid, I remember this being super long and interesting, and now I think it's pretty short and I don't really care. Talking to the little boy again and passing some speech checks was apparently enough for them to like me. And since they like me, I'll tell Yes Man that I can let him live. Next, we're off to the great cons. I fast travel to the nearest point I can and try to beeline it, which, again, doesn't work how I thought it would. I didn't think I'd get bullied by fucking bugs, though. I tried so many times to fight them. I could only kill one of them if I was lucky, but there was like six of these fucking things. Eventually, I get so butthurt about it that I decide to sneak past them. I could have sworn that the entrance was on the east side, but nope. Sure as shit, it was on the south side. I finally make it in and nothing happens. Like literally nothing happens. Like actually nothing happens. No one talks to me. No one even cares that I'm there. I remember this happening too, because just visiting the place is enough for me to pass judgment on them. I go back to Yes Man and tell him that everyone can be ignored and to continue the mission. He tells me that the NCR president is coming and will be assassinated. I tell him to ignore it and move on to the next quest. He tells me to go to this power substation, and I do so with no resistance. Go back to Yes Man and start the Hoover Dam assault. I basically just walk in a straight line, killing anything in my way, all the way down to the control room where I patch Yes Man in. He tells me to destroy the generators, and it's as simple as pushing a button. Boone then stops and tells me not to fuck with the NCR, even though together we probably killed about 20 of them on the way to get here. I tell him, sure and he gets over pretty quickly. We exit the dam, and I guess that was the last straw because Boone leaves my party. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I only have an army of robots left. I pick up a sniper from one of the dead centurions and slaughter the rest of them. I get to Legget Lanius and tell him to fuck off with a series of speech checks. Then the ENCR come. We talk for a bit, but I ultimately throw his goofy ass off the dam. The game ends and proceeds to tell me about all the shit I did not do. Now, I was a dumb kid. I cannot state this enough. There is no shortage of video essays out there talking about how fucking good New Vegas is. And now, as an adult, I can fully comprehend that Fallout New Vegas is the GOAT. I understand that I did the literal bare minimum to beat the game, but I think my disdain for this game comes down to a couple of things. First, my sick-ass speedrunning skills. This entire playthrough took me about three days to accomplish. Did I think to start over and play it again? Or perhaps reload before the final battle to explore from there? No, game trash. Second, my aversion to the Western genre as a whole. I do not like Westerns. Ironic that I was born and raised in Texas, but I've always hated the cowboy stereotype, even though I definitely know people who are legitimately like that. I've just never liked the cowboy or desert aesthetic. And honestly, I still kind of stand by this one. Third, my favorite color is green, which explains my early temper tantrum with the HUD color. One of my biggest biases coming from 3. Overall, I think my biggest singular problem was just running into Benny while not trying to. In Fallout 3, they put your dad in the most random remote place, so you have to actively search for him. Finding Benny in New Vegas makes sense for his character, but I wish they made him like spawn in after a quest or something. My obsession with New Vegas trumped my revenge for Benny. Finding him there just felt so convenient to me. I am no game designer, and I am in fact stupid, and I was an even stupider kid, so take all this with a grain of salt. I desperately need to play this game again without these nostalgic shit goggles, and I plan to at some point on this channel.
Fallout New Vegas is just like every other Bethesda game, a flawed masterpiece. Flaws that are later fixed by modders. Thank you everyone for putting up with my video. This one felt way harder to structure and is probably shit in some places because of that. At the end of the day, just know that I do love this game, though it took a while. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.